Talk about next year with resolution. Um, so next year with resolution in 2009, we're going to start introducing force books for the factions, and we're going to start with APAC as they've been neglected the last year, uh, and that will come with bikes for everyone who's uh, wanting those kind of nice kind of like uh, cyberpunk style bikes in the games. Uh, the next book will probably be Dravani, and it'll be interesting, like much more creatures into them. And uh, of course, in November, our big release for this year is going to be Warlands, which is a 20 millimeter scale game. It's vehicle, infantry, mechs, and flyers. Which is a good rule of there. So, 20 millimeter. Why are you doing 20 mil instead of uh, 28? It really makes it affordable. The, the vehicles uh, are going to be metal and resin, so we can really bring down the price. So people can have kind of nice large-scale armies that are affordable, look really cool on the table. But you can get enough detail on 20 mil. So it's you know to do it kind of larger with the price kind of like some metal going up. I mean, I think when, when we started, kind of aberrant around three years ago, we were paying around three dollars. It's now around thirteen dollars a pound. It's, it's it's gone up astronomical. So doing the resin and metal at that scale, you, we can have the games. Well, at least the games I want to play that look really cool on the table. Loads of buggies, trucks, flyers, and mechs, and just have an awesome tabletop game without kind of like having kind of second mortgage the house. So what's the uh, what's the focus for Warlands going to be? What's the background for it or the setting? Warlands, it's almost everything you could wish not to happen has happened. There's been kind of biological attacks on the East Coast, nuclear attacks. There's mutants, the zombies. There's kind of the Mad Max style, kind of like sort of like raiders living out in the desert. There's kind of the free states which have kind of banded together. And there's kind of the Blackwood mercenaries which kind of hold it together and sort of like sort of keep the raiders and the muties kind of out in what the warlands basically. These kind of desolate kind of stretches of kind of glass and plains. And that's where most of the combat takes place in the game. It's it's very cinematic. Um, for those who love kind of like sort of again using kind of road warrior kind of doomsday type kind of feel. But yeah, mix in a little 28 days later and Dawn of the Dead and you're good to go. Okay. Uh, so how many factions are you uh, thinking of coming out with? There's initially four. Uh, the first book's going to have two, uh, which are the Blackwood Mercenaries and also the Low Tech Raiders. And there's going to be customizable rules as well. So you want to make your own, you're going to be able to do that as soon as the book's out in the, kind of, in the first quarter next year. And that's one of the other cool things. We're going to bring out customizable packs so you can get kind of like uh, toy, uh, toy cars from stores and mix them up how you want and design your own vehicles and kind of like troops. So these are going to scale for the same sort of size of the Hot Wheels uh, cars? or It is, yeah. It, it works pretty well with that. That's what we kind of uh, play testing with originally before we got our own models. So with the, the beetle you have here, this little buggy, so that would be the metal core and then there'd be resin accessories that would come on to that? Or? The actual core, this is uh, one of the prototypes, uh, the whole body will be resin, which uh, just kind of like to keep the price down. Um, and then all the accessories and drivers and the gunner will be metal. And so these uh, zombies here, are they going to be uh, coming out right away as well? These, yeah, th these were our, our first prototypes to make sure we could kind of get the detail on the scale. And uh, they will be kind of like the third faction coming out. Okay. And then these other two guys here are just examples of the raiders, or are these the mercenaries? They're the low techs. Yeah. Um, again, they're kind of like sort of, you know, almost kind of like that kind of traditional feel with the mass, the coveralls. That's actually a, a rocket launcher crew. And how many uh, how many figures and vehicles would a standard game have? It's, it's really up to you. The initial starter set comes with like something like a bike, a buggy, and a truck. So you can kind of start with that and have games. You can add in infantry. You don't want to do so much infantry. You can just keep going on the vehicles. Uh, like with Resolution, I, I try to keep it open so the players can really do what they want to do within the system. Um, I like it. I'm, I'm kind of playing at the moment with kind of like sort of four buggies, six bikes, and a couple of flyers. Excellent. Sounds exciting. And that's going to start to come out in November. In November, the core set will be out. So Excellent. Uh, followed up in February with some additional blisters and the book hopefully at the end of March. Sounds great. Thanks.